All right, let's talk about what's up with these various Canic models. So I've been posting a lot about Canic being the Personal Events Network training tour sponsor for 2022, showing off kind of the latest greatest. People have seen me with other Canics in the past. I'm like, wait a minute, are these all the same gun? What exactly is going on? Well, they're not all exactly the same gun, but a lot of similarities. So first, let's talk about this. This is where I started my journey with Canic was with the TP series, the TP9. So this is the TP9 that I first started shooting. Uh, loved it, trigger was good. Um, had a little issue with magazines being drop free, this and that, but you know, a good midsize, very affordable, reliable, striker fired nine millimeter. And, and the thing that really stood out about it was the trigger. And that's one of the things we hear over and over and over again about the Canics. Uh, obviously the internals here have kind of consistently uh, improved in some cases, but they started out really, really good. The next thing I saw was this, the I always want to, I always get it backwards. This is the Canic Elite Combat. All right, now take a look at that little flat face trigger that breaks at 90 degrees flat. Uh, that is going to come back. We're going to talk about that again in a minute. But it, it came with a threaded barrel, gold, you know, a little bit fancier, um, but TP9 at heart. Um, same ergonomics as the TP9, kind of a standard midsize gun. Uh, the Magwell, kind of interesting plate if you wanted to put a red dot on it. Some little upgrades there on the Elite Combat. But then when I really started getting even more interested in these things was with the Meta series. So the Meta series came out last year. It was both the SFT and the SFX. Now these are, as you can see, both pretty much the same. One's black, one's tan, pretty much the same SFTs. Now this one does have one of the new mechanic, and I thought I had a box out here somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. Probably using it as a tripod behind my phone for the Meta mechanic or me canic i've heard some people pronounce it that way optics so they now have their own line of optics coming out of canic and again striker fired gun but dramatically improved ergonomics i thought uh, i think the grip just the obviously there's interchangeable back straps on this meta model m-e-t-e -E. uh you can get three different sizes but just in general um the texture ring is better than it was on the tp9 the contouring is better than it was on the tp9 double undercut on the bottom of the trigger guard i'm um, still a relatively large trigger guard uh, I thought that the slide was was basically the same, you know, as far as I was concerned there, the feel there, um, but the triggers were great. Um, the magazine release um, is reversible, um, and it does come in an extended size when you get up to, you go away from the SFT up to the SFX Meta. That's more the competition tactical style gun. Uh, of course, I do have an optic mounted on this one. That's a older optic. It's a shield optic. You can see that this on this one and on this one, the plate is in front of the rear sight. And we're going to talk about that in a second too. Um, but we still see that this has that standard trigger, the little red um, safety tab insert there. I did put the plastic uh, magwell on this one. It's got a longer slide. This one I also have a threaded barrel for, and I've done some shooting with this one, suppressed and unsuppressed. Cool gun. Now, kind of right now, the new, the latest, the greatest, the one I've been shooting this week and, and talking about a lot is the Rival. Now, let's be honest here. The SFX and the Rival look very, very similar. In fact, the Rival says right on it, and I'll get this one situated there if I can. I'll just put that down flat. It says right there, SFX Rival. So this is a meta SFX at heart. Um, you can see that this one um, has a lot more aggressive serrations and just kind of cooler looking serrations. This is called the dark side model. They have a gray one with gold accents, which I was, it was kind of growing on me. At first I saw it, I thought, nah, not really cool. Uh, it was growing on me. I was kind of excited to get one, but I was even more excited when I opened up the box and the one that I got was the dark side because I think this one just looks cooler and better. You can see this flat front trigger again that breaks at 90 degrees is back for the rival. And this gun really is meant to be a competition gun, let's be honest. Um, I think that it might be a perfect gun for like a home defense staging, putting it in a quick access safe, something like that. A little big for carry for me personally. Um, I put a slightly larger back strap on it and it just gave it more of a little bit of an in-depth curve. It pushes my hand up high on the grip, which I really like. Um, I did put the magazine well on this one. And as I said before, this one has that extended magazine release. So uh, this is the latest greatest. It's also wearing one of the mechanic optics. And you can see on this one, this plate, this is all a plate. So that's an integrated rear sight in with their optic on their gun, which is kind of nice. So I, I like that integration. You can also get a flat back plate that we will accept other optics also. This is their smaller optic. It's the O1. They have an O2 optic also that's larger that I have not uh, played around with at all. But I have done a little bit of shooting with this one. Yesterday, I've got, uh, I'm probably almost up to 500 rounds on this gun itself, uh, about 
two thirds of those with the optic. Um, so that's that's kind of the deal. Um, if you're wondering what's going on with the Canik, what's going on with the, the Meta, what's going on with the Rival, uh, there is a series of guns here, um, all built around pretty much the same internals, um, very different ergonomics from the TP series up into the Meta series, kind of culminating in uh, the look and feel of the Rival. Canik pistols. Proud sponsor, I hope they're proud. I'm proud to have them as a sponsor of the 2022 Personal Defense Network Training Tour.